everyone, Tina Service here with the Titan. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Maid Central um, account with uh, Go High Level or the Titan. And um, this one is actually going to be for the trigger event of contact is updated. So I'm going to take you back to the beginning. And I'm actually going to click over here and create a new zap. A new zap. Again, this is assuming that you already have your connection between Made Central and Zapier, and you have your connection between Zapier and in Lead Titan. If you have not watched that video, um, you can uh, reference the video that's here in my YouTube channel. Okay, so the way that this um, works is we're going to go ahead and hit Create. We're going to do New Zap. And the Zap that we're looking for here is called Made Central. Grab that, and we're going to go to the trigger event of contact updated. So we're going to hit continue. We're going to have it pull some data, at least try to. All right, so here's some new records. We're going to go ahead and continue with this record here. I don't know what was updated here. So when I do the connection to go high level, I just pull everything over. So now it's asking for us, what, where do we want to connect? And we want to connect to the connector. And lead connector is the gray label for go high level. In here, we're going to add update contact. And then, of course, we're going to select the account. And again, this is assuming that you already have your account um, connected. We're going to hit continue and we're going to map up fields that are available to us. So the first name is going to be Missy. And then we're going to do always bring in your phone number and your email because that is how it's going to match up with go high level. And I'm also going to bring in the address because again, I don't know what was updated here. So I'm just going to bring in all the fields that are possible to update in here. Post code. Now, when you're watching this video, all this information is going to be grayed out because of YouTube's uh, requirements on making sure that people's ident uh, personal identification is not out there. Um, so you won't be able to see what I'm actually putting in here, but just know that you're going to be able to see the email address and match that up. Now, I'm going to mark this as a lead as false because it's not technically a lead. And then anything else that I can add in here, I'm going to add. So let me go see what other options are in here. So it's got address region. It's got its recurrence. So in here, we should have a custom field called recurrence. I know it's in here someplace. Let me go to the top and search for it. Okay, so it looks like in my account, I actually didn't bring over a recurrence because um, for me, it's not important. But if you do want to make a custom field for that, you would make that custom field in your Go High Level account um, and call it Recurrence. So we're just going to just skip that Recurrence field, but let me go see what other fields are in here. I'm just going to go this one time fee, pull this up. So we got Recurrence, Customer Source. I'm going to go and throw in the service description, and we actually have it called Frequency in ours. I'm going to go up here and search for this. So here's the frequency. I'm going to grab it here every two weeks. We do have scope group as well. So here's the scope group, just in case that is what changed. And then let's see. Square footage I'm not going to bring in because I'm assuming that didn't change. There's no other information in here except for, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And now this is going to go over and update this client um, in the connector. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that one's done. Um, when you're done, you go ahead and publish this. And then I rename it up here to what the actual service is. So I would say like made central contact updated to um, lead type. Then I know what it is. But because um, I already have this done, I'm actually going to delete this and we'll go to the next video.